We get asked quite often if an open concept theater can be done right. In this case study, we're going to show you an amazing one that we just completed. Hi, I'm Daryl Sinclair with High Definition Technologies. We had a client come to us who wanted an open concept theater. Our project manager met with these clients did a needs assessment, sat down with them to find out how they wanted to use the room, who was going to be using the room, how the room was going to look, and came up with an amazing design. We did renderings of the room so the client could see exactly where the screen was going to sit, how the speakers were going to look, how the room acoustics were going to look in the room. You would even see how the furniture would look in the space before any wires were run. So with the theater design, we planned out all the wires, all the speakers, all the room acoustics, the screen, and the projector, and the equipment that runs it. Um, one of the biggest concerns is we wanted it to be easy to use. The client wanted to be able to come to the theater room, sit down, and just basically hit a button that says watch, theater or watch Netflix or watch Amazon Prime. So simplicity was the key. So the project manager came up with a design that the client loved, the designer loved, and you'll see from the photos that the rendering and the final product is almost identical in every detail. So we used a very interesting technology in the screen. It's called Black Diamond by Screen Innovations. It actually rejects ambient room light. So you can watch the projector with the lights on in the room and the screen is only reflecting back what's coming from the projector. Speaking of the projector, where the lens is and where the projector is hidden, every attention to detail was made we 3D printed the ring and the client wanted the projector to be within the millimeters of center within the ring. You'll notice that we've hidden the equipment in another room, although everything is still controlled by one remote control. There was, the subwoofers are recessed, so all you see is a little girl in the front. There's no subwoofers that you see in the room. And the screen, the speakers we actually hid behind the screen, it's an acoustically transparent screen, so it doesn't affect the sound of the speakers at all. And you'll see that the rear speakers are recessed into the ceiling that blend nicely with the acoustic treatments. 